Okay, here we are with assignment 8B. This is, uh, in essence, the same thing as assignment 8A. So if you want a really good lesson on like learning how to do this stuff, 8A is probably your better video than this. I'm going just to kind of rush through uh, this thing, kind of going through the motions and uh, doing um, a lot of the same things. I, actually, I think a lot of these questions are exactly the same as the 8A assignment. However, I'm not going to explain myself as well as I did probably on assignment 8A. But regardless, here we go. Uh, we're asked confidence intervals, and here we have sigmas. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Here I see that my sample average is 17.3 with a population standard deviation of 1.2. Uh, the group size was 23, and I am after a confidence interval of 80%. So what I first do is I find the ZC that I'm going to be using in my next. So you look at the Z table for 80% and I see that's 1.28. So this is going to be 1.28 when I do the next equation that I'm getting into right now. All right, now I need to go ahead and find my uh, margin of error. Uh, the error in this situation is going to be ZC sigma divided by the root of N. I have all of these numbers. I just have to plug and chug now. Uh, so this is 1.2 divided by the root of 23. And so this is 128 times 1.2 divided by the root of 23. Uh, so this is 0 0.4504. Uh, okay, now we go to our confidence interval itself. And the confidence interval is given by the formula x bar minus e is less than mu is less than x bar plus e. So this middle mu thing is going to remain there. And I just find the answers to the side. So x bar minus e. And then x bar plus e. All right, now we have this successful, quote unquote, successful company problem. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to use my calculator because I trust it a little bit more than I do myself about finding this average. Okay, uh, so I calculate uh, one variable statistics. So I calculate one variable statistics. All right, so I see that my sample average is going to be 50.1875. Uh, and uh, we have a standard deviation of 5.5. Again, don't look at the calculator for that. You read it right from the page itself. I see that my sample size is eight companies, and I am finding a confidence of 70%. All right, so 70% is going to give me a ZC of 1.04. Oh, we do All right, so I go ahead and find my margin of error. So error is equal to ZC sigma divided by the root of N. And so this is 1.04 sigma divided by the root of N. Two, 
onto the confidence interval. So the confidence interval is my average minus my margin of error, uh, average plus my margin of error. Uh, B and C are a continuation of this problem. So uh, what if I make a 90%? Will it will be longer or shorter. So right now the confidence is 70%, which is giving me a ZC of 1.04. Giving me a ZC of 1.04. They're uh, imposing, uh, proposing that I make a 90% which is going to give me a ZC of 1.645. Okay, so what is happening is I'd be going from 1.4 to 1.645, which is larger. That ZC just got larger. Okay, so ZC just got larger, which is going to affect the E of the problem. So the E is ZC sigma divided by the root of N, and ZC we just showed just got larger. ZC is a multiplication number, so that means that the answer also would get larger. Multiply by a large number, you're going to get a large answer. The okay, only division is that opposite. So E just got larger to the confidence interval. The confidence interval is x bar minus e to x bar plus e. So if e just got larger, that means I'm adding and subtracting a bigger number. Okay, so if I add and subtract a bigger number, the confidence interval itself will get longer. Again, you have to show all of this mathematics. Uh, the next question is, uh, if your employees earn 45000 is your average below average, average, or above average? Uh, and so this would be 45 is below average. Why? Because 45 is below the lowest average. of 48.1652. That's like the gatekeeper on the low side. <coughs> 45 doesn't quite make it. Okay, our state's auto insurance took a random sample of 360 insurance claims, uh, and then the average claim of that sample is 1,450 with a standard deviation of $250. Uh, we want a 90% confidence interval on this. Uh, so that means the ZC, if confidence is 90%, is 1.645. So the ZC of this problem is 1.645. We look, so that's what we have. So we need the uh, margin of error in this situation. And so that ZC sigma divided by the root of n, so that's 1.645 of sigma divided by the root of n. Now we are ready for the confidence interval itself. 
And so that makes the confidence interval. Whoa, I messed up on that one. Everything is right in the pick, except I accidentally typed in the wrong number. So 1450 minus. There we go. That's more in the ballpark. So nice play twice. Here we go. Uh, so we have an average of 855, 028, 17 birds, confidence of 80%. Incredibly small number, so I'm always kind of weary about when I get really, really small numbers like that. But it looks like my mathematics is right on, so I didn't, I didn't make any mistakes. You need to write new problems to this. It's always like financial services and companies and things like that. Thank mm -hmm. you. 